for all of his blessings upon us. Living Faith Church refit members are widely traveled, but we have not had any evil reports because God has been our shield. He has provided for us. He has helped us. Many are swimming in blessings already. I'd like us to lift up our voice and say, Father, for all of the things you have done, we return the glory to you. For all of the visitations, all of the turnarounds, we give you all the praise, we give you all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you all the adoration. Dependable God. Reliable God. For the awesome blessings. For the awesome interventions. Blessed be your holy name. We return praise to your name, Most High. We return praise to your name, O Most High. Blessed be your holy name. We return praise to your name, O Most High. We return praise to your name, O Most High. Jesus, you deserve the praise for every increase, for abundance, for provision, for turnaround, for disgrace in the plan of hell. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for every help, for every favor, for every provision. For making a way where there is no way. I am grateful to you. I am grateful to you. I am grateful to you. For all you have done, we say thank you. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. You will end this month with the fullness of the blessing. You will end this month with um, amazing laughter. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Whatever has been withheld from you, I command it release now. Amen. I command it release now. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. In this service, the hand of God come against your stoppers. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Whatever has been fighting your destiny from going forward, I command them crush in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today, your destiny will gain motion. Amen. Today, your destiny will be accelerated. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so. Congratulations. Please take your seat. God bless you. Where is architect Mancha? Uh, JBS will be starting tomorrow. Activate your destiny, part one. Every child of God has a glorious destiny in Christ. The plan of God for my life and your life is too solid, too compact, too loaded, such that you are not even permitted to end up as a failure. You are not permitted to end where your enemy desire you to end. To them that he did predestine, he called. To them he called, he justified. To them he justified, he also do what? Glorified. So there is an agenda of glory 
waiting for you. I alone know the thoughts that I think towards you, thoughts of good and not of evil, to give you a future, a hope, and an expected end. I alone, I didn't consult anyone. I didn't go to seek counsel from anyone. I alone. God is a master planner. He has planned your future solid. He has planned your future loaded. But hear me, as loaded as our destiny is, it requires activation. It requires activation. A destiny that is not activated is a destiny unfulfilled. A destiny that is not activated is a destiny that is doomed. A destiny that is not activated is a destiny that we end up in regrets. As many are already regretting now. Why me, Lord? Why me, Lord? A destiny that is not activated, we end up in hopelessness. But there is hope for the future. There is hope for a better tomorrow. One vital key which we are going to focus in this first service is the power of dreams and vision. Like I said when we are praying, destiny activation is tied to two things, what you see and what you say. So we are going to be focusing on what you see in the first service and second service we dwell more on what you say. For your destiny to be activated, the veil, the scales covering your eyes must be removed. So in this service, God will take away spiritual cataracts. <laughs> God operates a rule, what seest thou? That rule cannot be changed. It doesn't matter where you are walking or where you are living. What seest thou? And for your destiny to be without limits, you must see where. Tell your neighbor you must see where. Seeing is tied to dreaming. And when we talk about dream, it's not what you see in the night while you are sleeping. Dream is not what you see when you sleep. I will break everything down. Dream is what takes away sleep from you. I you hear what I'm saying now? <laughs> the one you see when you sleep is witchcraft pursuing you. <laughs> the one you see when you sleep is it could be warning from God or um, exposing the wicked plans of the enemy. I you hear what I'm saying now? Dream that guarantee fulfillment of destiny is the one that take away sleep from your eye. So a dream for the future is what you can 
detach from the picture of the word. The word paints pictures. And what you see in the scripture determines what you will see in your future. What dreams do is to form what we call image. So anyone that must get his destiny activated is living in images. I pray God that the image that is forming you is a good one. If you are carrying a bad image, you will live a bad life. You will have a bad outcome. You will have a bad experience. And as far as the law of dreams is concerned, self-dreams don't guarantee a future because it's limited to ambition. The only dream that guarantees a glorious future is the one that God plants in your heart. Everyone I see here now stands the chance of living a glorious life, an enviable life, a life full of color, but hear me, it is tied to dream. It is tied to visions. No wonder scripture says, where there is no vision, the people perish. If you don't have a vision, you become a busybody. Who is a busybody? A busybody is someone who is only after other people's matter when he has too many loads waiting for him. I say busybody. Everyone in church stands the chance to fulfill a glorious destiny, but no destiny is fulfilled by chance. So you don't live your life to chance by saying whatever will happen, will happen. Now lie, it can never happen. Are you know what I'm saying now? Whatever will happen, will happen. If God will do it, he will do it. If he will not do it, he will not. It's a lie, yo. What you don't see, God cannot do. God does not determine your outcome or what you become, but your dream determines where he futures. Even God told Abraham, I will bless you and thou shalt be a blessing unto what? Many nations. But you know what? He still needed to bring him to the realms of dreams. That was why he took him out the first time. He said, Abraham, can you count the stars? The second one, he said, Abraham, look up. Look to the north, look to the south, look to the east, look to the west. As far as your eyes can see. So he needed him to see. The moment you begin to dream, your destiny is carrying fire. What gives destiny power for fulfillment is dreams. Everybody here has destiny. But some people have local dream. <laughs> Others have global dream. I want to say at this point that as far as destiny is concerned, we have a growing destiny so we grow in dreams and in vision. Concerning Joseph, after the first dream, scripture says, and he dreamt yet another dream. So if you have succeeded now, that does not mean that you are finished. 
God wants you to dream another dream. Because the day you stop dreaming, you start dying. The day you stop dreaming, things begin to fall apart. The day you stop dreaming, doors begin to close against you. So you never get to a point where you are um, satisfied. No. The part of the jaws is as a shining light that shines brighter unto a perfect day. Destiny is an adventure, but for you to keep going forward, you need to activate it with more dreams. Dreaming big dreams. You dream, dream another one. You dream again, dream again. But what guarantees the activation of destiny via dreams is the power of light. The power of insight. The power of revelation. How far can you go is determined by how far can you see how much light you have been able to assess. Naturally, driving on a road, much more in the night, if your car headlight is not good, what will happen? You'll be slowing down so that you won't go and jam one pothole that can uh, tear tire. You know there are potholes that tear tire. Or jam a pothole that will knock the engine from under and now it will pour out. So our destiny suffers slow motion, delay, setback, darkness when there is insufficiency of light. So for your destiny to remain activated or to be activated, please, you must stay to the source of light. You must stay connected to lighted men. <laughs> Scripture says, for in thy light we see light. One thing I know, if you have not been a good dreamer and you come in the midst of dreamers, you will begin to dream. Am I, am I correct? What will they do? They have to upgrade you. If you are thinking low, they now help you to begin to think high. Thinking low is an underestimation of what God can do. Thinking low is a disappointment that uh, if God will have done it, he will have done it now. But hear me, God also check how you think to determine what he will do. I, the Lord, will do nothing without your mind. Without what? Mind. So you must stay addicted to the source of light. You must stay connected to lighted men. I remember what Dr. Paul Lenenche said. He said, if we had not seen it in you, we wouldn't have dared it. Meaning, if we have not seen you build 50,000 capacity and you are now going to 100,000 capacity, how can we dare 70,000 capacity? Who you follow determines what follows you. If you follow dreamers, <laughs> hear me, oh, dreaming is contagious. When you follow dreamers, the thing catch you. If you are dreaming low now, you begin to dream high. When you stay in the midst of dreamers, the thought of failure dies. Am I saying the truth? The thought of failure. Failure is a syndrome. A very bad syndrome. It doesn't matter what is happening to you now. Stay in the midst of dreamers. You will see that uh, <laughs> every day you will be carrying paper. 
you'll be writing. Ideas will just be pouring like pure water. One thing I've discovered, dreamers flow with creative ideas. Because where others see difficulties, they picture opportunities. He said, we could, we could only dare it because we'll have seen it in you. Who has been to Port Harcourt where Pastor Ibiomi is building their new church? God bless you. If you see structure, it's like the construction company, they are taking it one step per time. They are not in a hurry. The structure is too massive. After that one, they are about to start their university. He said, whatever we have seen in you, we will reproduce. When your destiny becomes activated by reason of dream, you don't suffer slow motion. In fact, any attempt for things to slow you down, you fight it. Am I saying the truth? You fight it. You fight it spiritually. You fight it physically. Why? It's not usual. It's not normal. So whatever you can see today, steers up something to move you forward tomorrow. People that are not seeing anything today, they are bound to be complacent, too relaxed, too comfortable. What is making you feel as if you have arrived? Travel out. You know, I've always been saying this thing. Travel out. When you go out, you will come back charged. Am I saying the truth? For those of us that have been privileged to travel small, when you come back, even if you have not been thinking where, well, your head will be rearranged. Are you what I'm saying now? Huh? Dreams make you restless. Now hear me. Every time we talk about dream, we are not talking of how much you have in your pocket. We are talking about what is about to enter your life afresh. A life without a dream is a man without a destination. And without a dream, you don't have a compass to destiny. No way for you. You don't have a compass. A compass is what charts the course. And hear me, if you don't have a good dream, you are a wicked man. You are too wicked. It's only wicked people that have small dreams. Because they only think, me, myself, and I. Me, my wife, and my children. You are a winch. God told Abraham, I will bless you. And thou shalt become a blessing unto many nations. Not many people. So if you don't have a dream or you have a small dream, you are limiting other people's destiny. Because through your dream, many other people will catch dream. Many other people will gain motion. Many other people will go forward. So, you must be activated though. I say you must be activated. Yeah. The entire world had their destiny tied to Abraham. God has blessed him. 
But God said, I want you to dream. Dreaming is not limited to age. Somebody say, hmm? Yeah, hmm? Did you hear me where? Dreaming is not limited to what? Age. If it is limited to age, then Abraham should have dreamed big dreams and see them accomplished. Don't say no. I can't dream. My children will dream the one I didn't dream. No. Start dreaming now. Because what they see in you is what they will reproduce. Are you hear what I'm saying now? A dreamless father and a dreamless mother will give birth to dreamless children. They reproduce and replicate how you live. When they see you as a dreamer, they know the things you are doing. I might say something to somebody. So it is what you see through your dreams. Those are the only things God performs, God confirms. Dreams, let me put it this way to make us catch it better. Dreams are spiritual magnets. That's why you must be careful the kind of dream you have. Dreams are what? Spiritual magnets. Every dream you dream now magnets opportunity. So if you are not magneting opportunity, after this service, come and see me. I will plant fire in your body. Quality dream magnets opportunity. Quality dream magnets dream makers. Quality dream magnets dream helpers. The scriptural. When Joseph had that dream, I see the stars bound to me. Are you follow? He repeated it again. Papa, I see you. I see you. He followed back. He said, including all of them, they bow. Now, we may only talk about how they threw him to the pit. I was sold as a slave. But without that dream, there wouldn't have been an opportunity for him to meet the buckler. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Without that dream, there wouldn't have been an opportunity for him to meet the buckler and for him to also meet Pharaoh for the interpretation of the dream. So, your dream determines who you magnet into your life. So if you are attracting bad, bad people now, the confirmation is that you have bad, bad dream. Because who you attract is divinely synonymous to the people you attract. If you are attracting gossipers, it's in your heart. If you are attracting backbiters, it's in your heart. Everything you attract, you draw it, you magnetize it. It was not a coincidence too for him to meet the Samaritan man. Are you what I'm saying now? Uh, that one was a divine interceptor. He intercepted the plan of the wicked. Your dream determine who you attract. If I bring it the other way now, the law of attraction also goes with our dreams. Goes with our vision. And you know, you can have a dream now 
and you'll be wondering, how will it come to pass? Cool down. Tell your neighbor, cool down. Somebody will be telling me, now, Pastor, I've been dreaming. I've been dreaming. I've been dreaming. Why has it not been coming? Cool down. Scripture said the lines are falling for me in pleasant places. God takes us one step at a time. Don't be in a hurry. Dreamers are never in a hurry. Dreamers are never in a what? Hurry. And if you have not been dreaming, I want to say to you, it's never too late for you to catch a dream and get your destiny activated. It is one thing for you to dream. It is another thing for you to act on you on your dream. Your dream may look too good. In fact, you can lick it. But until you begin to act on it, it never sees the light of the day. Many are classic hearers in church. But we have few doers. Don't be a hearer only. Be a doer. As we are hearing, take step. God shows himself when we begin to act, not only when we hear. There are some dreams you have had five years ago, you have not done anything. Do you know why some people cannot take step? The fear of failure. They are afraid to fail. There are strange voices that tell you, you will fail. It will not work. Are you the first? Failure teach good things. It teaches you lesson. It teaches you experience. And it also prevents you from repeating the same. Are you wrong saying now? Uh, so don't be afraid to fail. Anytime you think of failure, you may never take step. You may never take step. Many have colorful financial dreams. <laughs> But they have never taken one step before. I've not seen it work. Oh. I've not seen it work. Let me see it first. Hear me? Until you risk it, you can't take it. Whatever you are not able to risk, you too, you are not able to take. But what guarantees the risks you are taking, even though nobody has done it, is because of the information you have been able to assess. That's why I like going for information that are outside my field, outside this field. Yes. I must go for information so that I can do what I've never been able to do before. So that I can assess what I've never been able to assess before. If you limit yourself only to what you know or what you are conveniently able to do, you may never be able to go beyond your mark. I hope you know the dream Joseph had was a deadly risk. It's as good as not daring it. Even from the first experience. If not this dream, go kill me, my thumb back. <laughs> True or false? Let me shock you now. Every dream you dream, God does not tell you the consequence ahead. Did God show him they will sell him as a slave? Did he tell him they will throw him into the pits? Did he show him he will enter prison? Lie, lie, he won't show you that side. <laughs> he will only show you the colorful end. For the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross. You hear me? Dreamers, they have what we call enduring capacity. If you must have a dream that must bring glory, 
Go and build up enduring capacity. Because challenges will knock you well. Obstacles come to say, are you sure you still want to go ahead because we are out to stop you? Many have retired their dream because of a... <laughs> Challenges are only for champions. It's not for everybody. If challenge is not coming to you, God is not with you. Write it down, I said so. If you are not getting challenges, God is not with you. God has left you. Because challenges only come to people whom God wants to help. I've not seen a dreamer that is afraid of challenges. Challenges come to be solved. Not to live with you or stay with you. So every time challenge is coming your way, there is something God has to do in your life. So it's not that, uh, Lord, why are you allowing challenges to come to me now? You are special. Are you wrong saying now? Uh, and until you begin to have a different perspective about challenges, you may not really go far. One of the reasons why some people's dreams are still inside the file that has been, Muko is even eating the file. Do you know why? They are afraid of challenges. But Paul said, for we know, for we know that all things work it together for our good. For we know that all things work it together for our good. So don't allow challenges to retire you. Allow challenges to fire you up. You hear me? Every destiny that will carry a glorious dream one of the major activation you need is challenges. Challenges help you to think better. Challenges help you to pray better. Challenges fuel up your violence capacity. In the physical, they say necessity is the mother of what? Necessity is the mother of what? Good. Someone that have not had money challenge will not think of a way out. Am I correct? Much more when you have pressing need. Do you know it's when you have money challenge that your head think well? Yes, sir. Am I correct? Yes, sir. So if your head is not thinking well now, just wait. God will allow the thing to come. By that time, when the thing come, your head that have not been sweating under air condition will be sweating under air condition. <laughs> Are you what I'm saying now? So you don't retire your dream because one challenge came your way. No way. You must press on. Tell your neighbor you must press on. Psalm 40, verse 7. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. Is there anything written of you? Your marital dream is in the book. Your financial dream is in the book. Your career dream is in the book. So you must consult the book for you to see your destiny activated. For you to see your destiny fired up. How do we activate our dream?
How do we activate our destinies? Number one, interest. Interest give birth to passion. Tell your neighbor interest. The more you are interested in your destiny, the more you search out the things that will bring out your destiny. It will be wickedness against your destiny that you are not interested in your own destiny. You are interested in another man's destiny. You are a failure. In fact, you wonder a cause from God. That scripture we read the other day, <laughs> the man said, while I was busy here and there. There is one thing that you can never be over busy about, your destiny. You have more than enough to keep you occupied till Jesus come. Interest is powerful. When you develop interest in the glorious destiny God has packaged for you. It's unlimited. Hear me? It increases your focus. Dreamers have unbroken focus. Why? There is something they are pursuing. They are already getting evidence, but they are not satisfied. They want to pursue more. Because the more you pursue, the more you accomplish. Interest. So the interest will start with you. The interest will determine what you search. The interest will determine what you catch. If you are not searching anything, you will not catch anything. You shall seek. He that seeketh what? Find it. So what are you seeking? Interest. Powerful. The law of interest is the fueler for passion. And your passion determines your portion. As far as activation of destiny is concerned through dream, <laughs> your passion determines your portion, your portion, your lot. The psalmist said, the Lord is the lot of my inheritance. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. Interest. And it depends on also on what you see. I've discovered <laughs> what you see determines your interest. If you are seeing well, your interest is in what you are seeing. I hear what I'm saying now. Another thing that determines the activation of your dream through dream is planning. A planner is a strategist. What planning helps us to do is to chart the course that will help us to arrive. At our dreams. You plan last year, plan again. Like we are made to understand in that message last month. In every football match, every coach comes into the field of play with his own game plan. Am I saying the truth? That's why if you are watching a Premier League, they will show you. This team, they want to play 4-4-2. Four, four, this team, they want to play 1-2-5-3. What are they telling you? I don't want to go by their plan. I want to go with our own plan. But hear me, it has always been the case, your enemy will pressure you to play their plan. And the moment you play their plan, do you know how many years they have practiced that plan? They cage you very well. 
When you play your enemy's plan, you become a zombie. You dance their game. You don't play your game. I won't forget Real Madrid and Atletico. It's not the football that interests me. It's the planning. Atletico disgraced them previously when they met two months ago. Say, you see, they, they dealt with us, so we'll change the structure. When they changed the structure, it was a, it was a disgrace. Tell your neighbor, you need to plan where. Planning is winning. As far as dreams are concerned, you need to plan. You keep reviewing your plan. You keep reviewing your plan. The essence of reviewing is re-strategizing. It's not going speedy the way I want. Let me readjust it. Your dream is unique and peculiar to you, not to your neighbor. Or not to who is angry with you. Or not to who doesn't like your face. It doesn't matter. You don't need to like my face for me to go forward. I've, I've been saying it. In fact, the more the haters, the better for me. One, it will apply caution to me. Are you hear what I'm saying now? It will fuel more wisdom. And it will keep me more prayerful. Jesus said, woe is you when men speak well of you. I'm not looking for who will speak well for me. There's one that is speaking for me. That's the only one that I'm looking for. Because you can change any day. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You can change any minute. The brothers of Joseph, didn't they change? Hear me. You can't carry a glorious dream and not see the people around you change. You change in the attitude, change in the action, everything. In fact, non-dreamers hate people that are going forward. That's why they react like venom. Snake poison. So you need to keep reviewing your plan. Your dream is constant, but your plan is flexible. You review it. If you are not getting results the way you ought to, it's not that the dream is bad or the dream is wrong. Review the plan. And you cannot review your plan without quality thinking. The essence of quality thinking is to draw inspiration. The Holy Ghost must inspire you. There is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the Almighty showeth him what to do. He will show you. As far as God is involved in that dream, he will show you. I am the Lord thy God that leadeth thee in the way that thou shouldest go and make profit. Dreams bring profit. So you need to dream. Plan well. We have talked of interest. We have talked of planning. The next one, take step. Take step. Take steps of faith, not steps of fear. Take step. You have not attempted it. How, 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 how do you now know that you will fail? How, what is that thing that is telling you that you will fail? You have not attempted it. You have not tried it. Something is not telling you we will fail. That thing that is telling you we fail doesn't want you to take the blessing. So dreamers are dearers. They dear things. They dear the impossible. They dear the undearable. So you dare it by taking step. You take step. Don't be afraid. I'm going to do a post on today on the power of no. How many have received the word no before? They told you no. Have they told you no before? <laughs> Let me tell you something about no. 
the more you tell me no, the more I get more assurance. That's what no means. Try again. I remember when I went for youth service, I was rejected in 13 places. How many? I didn't know that, that the day I landed Lokoja, the person sitting beside me was my helper that was sent. I didn't know. So, the place where I met him, I went to Ami Barak because they have Ami Secondary School. As after local government area, you are doing. You see, we sat together. He said, yes. He asked me, what are you doing here? I said, I came as a copper. He said, oh, God, I've been rejected in 13 places. He said, what did you read? I said, I'm a geologist. He said, ah, my friend is the chief geologist in ADP. They must take you. I said, thank God. <laughs> he just wrote a short note on his complimentary card. He said, go and meet him. He's a nice man. He's schooled in Britain. If you meet him, the matter is finished. Immediately I got there, I met the Baba. He's wearing eyeglass like Pastor Nubisi. <laughs> <laughs> he said, my friend told me you are coming. He said, what's that your name? I said, my name is Tony. He said, okay, sit down, sit down. He said, you'll be walking with me. Eh? He said, I'll be walking with you. He said, yes. He said, I've already told them that you're coming. But I didn't give up to seek redeployment. Now, after that time, the Holy Ghost told me something. Don't take no for an answer. If it will not work, God will tell me you. But no, try again. In business, you tell me no, I know that there's something you needed to hear that you have not heard. I'll go and look for the thing and tell you. You must hear it well. How many of us are businessmen? When they tell you no, they want to be sure that you really know what you are saying. So no is like a, no, 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 no. He's afraid. They want you to convince them. So, Pursuing a glorious dream and you are getting no doesn't mean that your dream is fake. Press on. It must work. Lastly, I mentioned it in the course of the message but I want to give it a little now. If you must see your dream activated and continuously activated, Look for dreamers like you. Don't hang around dream killers. Don't hang around dream quenchers. Look for dreamers. When you stay connected to dreamers, you stay motivated. They don't only help you get activated, they help you stay motivated. Dreaming goes with motivation. When you stay around dreamers, they help to increase your dreaming frequency. You dreamed something before you met them. But they help to spark off what will fuel your own advancement. That is why everything Papa does, you see Biomi, you see Polynesia, you see Samadeemi, you see pastor, what's that pastor in a, Femi Emmanuel? You see many of them, they want to reproduce the same. They want to do the same. Why? You can't stay connected to a dreamer and not be on fire. Dreaming goes with fire. It plants fire in your body. If this person who I'm working with 
has done it, it then means I too can do it. I too can accomplish it. I too can achieve it. Stay connected to dreamers. The moment you begin to disconnect yourself from dreamers, get ready. Trap is waiting for you. You will soon fall. The bigger you dream, the more doors open. And I want to tell you, when you stay around dreamers, you are getting more and more connected to more open doors. Because what, <laughs> dreaming goes, like I said, it is contagious. It goes with a spirit. What answers to them, answers to you. What follows them, follows you. The door that opened to them, open for you. Lastly, let your heart remain connected to God. Let your heart remain connected to God. Let your heart remain connected to God. Scripture says they looked up to him and they were lighting and their faces were no more ashamed. Sammy said, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. From where cometh my help? My help cometh from God, the maker of the heavens and the earth. Remain connected to God. If you don't want to see shame, remain connected to God. If you don't want to enter a state of hopelessness, remain connected to God. Money will come. Doors will open. You will marry. You will build that house. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Your salary is not your problem. Your mind is your problem. Your salary is not your problem. Your mind is your problem. The people around you, they are not your problem. You are your problem. You are your problem, oh. Why do I say you are your problem? They are not your obstacles. They are a pathway to your miracles. God has never used the evil somebody is thinking about you to determine his performance in your life. And I've never seen and I've not seen in scripture we are the bad somebody is thinking about me now will now, the thing will now jump upon me. God forbid. Scripture says as a man thinketh in his heart not what he is thinking about me. What you are thinking is living with you. The evil you are thinking manifests for you, not for me. So you are your problem. You are your problem. Anybody is free to think it. Allah the person, let him be thinking it. It's happening for his house. It's happening for his family. It's happening for his children. Not for you. That's why your mind is the, is the fountain of your dreams. Your mind. So you must allow good thoughts to be flowing if there be any virtue, if there be any praise. He said, think on these things. So remain connected to God and don't be your own limits. You think low, you go low, but you think high, you go high. The farther you see, the farther you go. What you didn't see, God will not do. God will only do what you have seen. And as you are seeing it, be writing it down. Because you, it will come to pass. I say it will come to pass. Rise up to your feet. We are going to pray against hopelessness. If there is anything dreamers have suffered, everybody you see here is a dreamer. But one thing that dreamers have suffered is hopelessness. Distraction. Depression. What is it that you desire that God cannot do? Tell me one. Tell me one thing. One, just one thing. That you desire. Scripture says, What things soever ye desire. When you pray. What things. Not things. Please put the scripture back. Put it back. See it. How many? So ever. 
When you pray, you prayed now, you didn't see answer, doesn't mean it won't come to pass. Pray again. Pray again. Two prayer. Lord, whatever make me feel hopeless, there is no hopelessness in God. Him that is joined to the living, there is hope. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. You are not a, a dead lion. You are joined to the living God. Whatever make me feel hopeless. You come to church, you say, bless you, bless you. You go back to the house, you begin to cry. It's satanic. Satan knows that that dream will come to pass. So he will fight you with this depression. He will fight you with discouragement. He will fight you with hopelessness. <laughs> but I have not said to the seed of Jacob to seek me in vain. He said, faithful is he that called thee. Who also will do it? Your financial dream will come to pass. Your marital dream will come to pass. Your career dream will come to pass. You are going to pray against every form of hopelessness. Every wall of hopelessness that have been formed in and around your life begin to tear it down right now. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and begin to pray. You will build that house. In the name of Jesus, the money you need to get that desire come to pass, it will come into your hand. Come against that hopelessness right now. Every discouragement, every fear of failure, Every form of depression. Begin to attack it now. In the name of Jesus. Christ in you. The hope of glory. Not the hope of shame. Lift up your voice and pray. Every form of hopelessness. Every yoke of depression. Be teared down right now. Be teared down right now. that make me feel hopeless make me feel depressed every form of failure be swallowed up in the name of Jesus my future is glorious my future is bright my future is colorful I refuse to give up I refuse to quit Lakosute. Lutare, Ziku Capra, in Zeku Cateria, Maleno, Zucana e Kekikutu, Ziku Caprecata, Lecunaria Topo, in Zatecaca, Lea Keto, in Zocuca, Plecatoriozo, in Cacelete, Zecuca, Leporete. Rizekikupra Predia e kutono Shekuteli kata Retapali aneta I destroy Every form of hopelessness Every form of discouragement Every one of fear Be teared down by fire In the name of Jesus Christ, you are going to pray. Holy Ghost, activate me for greater success, greater progress, greater accomplishments. He gives his spirit without limits. Without limits, so you have an unstoppable destiny. You will succeed last year, you must succeed again. Holy Ghost, fire me up for greater success, greater accomplishments, greater breakthrough. Greater open door. Lift up your voice and pray. He said, we go before you and make the crooked place straight. Lift up your voice and pray from the depth of your spirit. I will not underachieve. I will overachieve. I will succeed. Fuel me for greater success. Fuel me for greater levels of breakthrough. Greater levels of progress. I refuse to stop where the enemy wants me to stop. 
I am going forward. I am unstoppable. By the power of God, my dreams will come to pass. My dreams will come to pass. The plan of God concerning my life will be fulfilled. I refuse to bow to pressure. I refuse to bow to any satanic manipulation. My desires in line with the plan of God must come to pass. Holy Spirit, fuel me. Fire me up for greater success. For greater accomplishments. For greater progress. In the name of Jesus, let your hand that guarantee divine accomplishments come upon me afresh. In the name of Jesus, make karate and zanaroto. Jesus e ikukabra leria ketozi aleta resono enka karate jekutelo reko preketelo ziata la kotombre dio enzuza nakenko prondio soto jekutali apebe thank you father in jesus Mighty name we have prayed. Amen. All eyes closed. You have followed us to pray. But Jesus, if he does not gain entrance in your heart, you don't have access to glorious dreams and kingdom dreams. Your life will be reduced to struggle, trial, and error. But when Jesus takes his rightful place in your heart, your destiny becomes more than fulfilled. Wherever you are right now, you want to make it right with Jesus, put your right hand on your chest and say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. In Jesus' name, I pray. If you pray that prayer with me, wherever you are, come forward right now. I pray for you. By the impartation of grace, beginning from today, dream good dreams. Any veil covering your eyes, your spiritual eyes, be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus. Our spiritual roots, they see better things and they live better life. From today, begin to see better things. Begin to live better life. Any power that has vowed to keep your life in prison, be shattered in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. Whatever has given your life slow motion by the fire of the Holy Ghost, regain speed in the name of Jesus. Every dream killer, dream eaters that Satan has planted in and around you by fire, I decree their disconnection in the name of Jesus. Any herald sent from hell to kill your dream before your time, I command by the vengeance of the Holy Ghost, I command that herald to die in the name of Jesus. This year, your desires will come to pass. This year, the hand of God will perfect everything concerning you. You may be on the floor today, but I pray for you. Whatever power kept you on the floor, I release you by fire in the name of Jesus. The same door that opened for the God of Oyedeko open for you in the name of Jesus. Bishop Abiyah prayed that day. He said, come up to the realm of our blessings. I pray for every one of you. You will not see small things again. From today, your hand will handle big blessings. Your hand will carry big favors. Your hand will handle bigger opportunities. 
wherever your dream makers are not south east and west but the four winds of the spirit i command them to locate you by prophetic help dreams are accomplished with speed i decree for you today the help of god showing your life showing your family showing your career showing your finances it shall be well with you in jesus name we pray put your hands together for jesus dream again from today you will be dreaming only big dreams the good hand of god that guarantees divine performance rests upon you in the name of jesus small things will not come to pass in your life only big things will god be doing for you in the name of jesus it shall be well with you in the name of jesus christ that desire that was a concern it will be turned into a testimony in jesus name we pray let's share the goodness together surely god's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the presence of the lord forever and ever amen let the redeemer of the lord say so